Hey all, Turtle here coming at you with another Hidden Fates opening. We have three tins. Uh, these are starting to be harder to find at that $20 or less. It feels like every once in a while there's some store, whether it's Target or whatever, it has them for $20. Uh, but then I feel like those are quickly drying up. I um, haven't been to uh, too many stores lately uh, for a number of reasons, so I'm not sure how often they have those in there. Uh, but yeah, if... Um, Soon, I, I wouldn't be surprising. Wouldn't be surprised if uh, soon, like, all right, you have to pay thirty dollars for these tins, which is way overpriced. So we're gonna open up three of these. Uh, Twelve more chances for that Charizard. It's been quite a while since we found one, so hopefully today will be the day. Um, just a quick reminder, if you do want to support the channel, you can simply do so by liking and subscribing and consider joining us on Patreon. And for our mail day for today, actually we have some probably lesser known shinies. Um, I actually, it's kind of weird because these don't even have shiny in the name. And the first one we're going to look at is Duskull. So you can tell shiny because it is red. I believe this is from the Stormfront set. And so I believe like, I'm not sure you can really see it, but this is SH2. I believe there's like a Voltorb as well for the set, and I still want to pick that one up. Uh, but usually for like, you know, the Gyarados, the Charizard, they say like shiny Charizard right on there. But this one, they kind of did a little bit differently. And then we have another one, which is Yanma. You can see it's kind of like blue. And this one's SH9 from Supreme Victors, I think. So I feel like these were kind of like one off or they're, you know, not super exciting Pokemon. Uh, so definitely lesser known shinies that are in the TCG. And this one, I think also has like a Relicanth from the sets. And so we'll probably pick up one of those eventually. And we do have one PSA card and it is from Expedition. <clears throat> Pretty cool one. We got a Mint 9 Mewtwo. So this one is the reverse foil. So the price wasn't too crazy. Uh, yeah, the reverses are significantly cheaper than the regular versions, but really happy to have this set in the PSA collection for our E-Series sets. All right, without further ado, let's get into these tins and see if we can't find that Zard. All right, we are all set. Let us begin. Got these tins out. I think I damaged the Gyarados. I feel like that's starting to happen more, taking out those. Uh, it doesn't have like the super crazy tags, the really annoying ones, but um, <clears throat> maybe this la latest wave. Um, or maybe I'm just being a little uh, not careful enough, which is possible. You know, these ones aren't too, mo not the most useful card. I mean, Charizard is somewhat playable, but not very sought after. Um, I think we have like so many of these at this point. But let's get into our first pack. Um, yeah, I feel like with these more recent waves, it's been a little bit more difficult to get those shiny GXs and stuff. Uh, you do get a good amount of sh regular shinies. I almost feel like the the pull rates for like a foil are better, are higher, and then or compared to, but the foil is a shiny instead compared to like other sets. And while we're perfectly happy to pick up the regular shinies, those GXs is, of course, the ones we really want. All right, let's see. Blaine's Last Stand. And there is our first shiny. <laughs> and like we said, like, we're going to get a lot of these compared to the GXs and better. Uh, Curlier is one of the ones we pull more frequently. It does look a little bit off-center. Sleeve up this bad boy real quick. I think we're actually running low on these sleeves. Let's crack open another one of those things from the ETBs. Alright, pack number three. Alright, halfway through our first tin. Man, it's been so long since we pulled the Charizard. To be honest, I don't even remember when it was. I do know we pulled two on channel. Coughing, a Clefairy, Staryu, Wigglytuff, very off-center. And... <laughs> <laughs> we got a full art supporter, so definitely really happy with this opening. But when it comes to full art supporters, all right, gold cards. We probably pulled, I don't know, four or five Bulus, and then I think one Coco, that's it. Supporters, we pulled a couple Cynthia's, a couple Guzman, really happy, but maybe like five Hikers. Like the distribution, at least for our own openings, is super skewed. Uh, and this guy's not very centered very well, but uh, again, we have plenty of him. And uh, let me just grab some sleeves, I guess. All 
figure can get a perfect fit. And then we'll we'll sleep with the wiggly top later. But this is a very good 10, three hits and a full art supporter. All right, then I just grabbed some more sleeves, opened up a, we've been opening up some hidden uh, burning shadows every once in a while, so we have some of these sleeves. Go for you, Wiggly Tough. All right, very strong first 10. Last pack. Can't ask for much more. All right, Brock, Jim, Giovanni. Ah, we need you in in Rebel Clash. It's crazy to to think that, you know, once League opens up again, and ooh, okay, reverse, and we if we do want to go to like an event, that it's kind of expected to. All right, maybe we need to finish out some of our play sets uh, because you know opening packs is not the most efficient way it'll be very tough to get plates and stuff but to only have one boss's order and that's like not even it's just a hollow and it has a full art and a rainbow variety so i feel like it shouldn't have been too hard to pull up but that's, that's as of this moment if we wanted to get a play set uh, we would still need to purchase three more copies guess guess the good news is a lot of lists you don't most lists you don't run three Butterfree is our rare, starting our next 10, and we do got a Shiny GX, very nice. We just pulled a Decidueye too, in our most recent opening, I believe it was from a Great Ball. Um, I feel like the top, I guess the top is pretty good. Um, centering is pretty good, not perfect. If we kind of look on this side, um, I feel like it's very close, left to right maybe off a little bit, but we'll put a penny sleeve on this guy. So. Definitely checking all the boxes. Got a full art supporter. Got a shiny GX in Decidueye. Just uh, we just need to work on getting not the same ones repeatedly. Definitely, yeah. Our last opening, I'm pretty sure we had a Decidueye GX. But you know, I kind of almost eating my words. I said when we were opening these tins initially. As far as the pull rates not being quite as good. And happy to be wrong here for sure. Alright, Eevee. Ekans. A Lapras. And then just a Erica's Hospitality. Alright, I just wanted to quickly remind everyone that we do stream PTCGO three times a week. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And we started something new where... Typically we would use Streamlabs for our giveaways where we give away a lot of packs. And we just started doing Marbles on Stream, which was way more fun than I thought it would be. Shoutouts to Killer Knight. Uh, when we raided him one, one night, and then that's what he was doing. He was like, oh man, let's, let's give this a shot. And yeah, it's been a blast. I feel like uh, if anyone's ever been to like a racetrack with like horse or something, the announcer. <laughs> That's kind of a, you know, call in the race. Alright, so far, nothing too good from this tin. Let's find those GXs. Shiny GXs, to be clear. Another reverse fire energy. Alright, let's see. Yeah, this is kind of on screen. It's just an energy. I think we're about... Oh wow, we are doing faster than I thought. Okay, we only have this. We're on to our last ten, so that second ten was a real dud. All right, can the third ten be just as fruitful as the first? Pikachu, Ekans, a Jolteon, super off centered, and then a Psyduck. Second pack of the last ten. Hmm, we actually might, we're at risk of not hitting our quota, so 12 packs, we're looking for 6 hits, and we got 3 packs, and we still need 3, we're not going to count these fire energies, maybe if you get like 3 or something, but yeah, we're going to need some really solid packs here, Ekans, a Caterpie, Lapras, then a Eevee, Lapras is the rare. Two packs remaining. At this point, we're going to need to double up on a pack. Ooh, this is uh, 
And the reason why we love this set is usually you can hit that quota. And this is going to be the first time in quite a while where we are not able to. Alright, come on. Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Jesse, and James. Hmm, you know, usually almost always we pull a rocket supporter full art. Okay, last pack. Mewtwo, you're going to need to really do well for us to turn this around with what started to be a really strong opening, too. Alright, here we go. There's Giovanni. Just the wrong one. Clefairy, a star you. Clefable is the rare. Huh. Oh, just a Mew. I do like that art though. It's very cute. But uh, wow, you can't win them all. And pretty disappointing because we start off so strong. We did get a full art supporter as well as a shiny GX. So can't complain too much. But uh, yeah, those last two tins. Didn't find anything in them at all. All right, that's going to be uh, it for us today. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Shout out to everyone that supports me on Patreon. And uh, yeah, I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.